Hello viewers, um, in today's um, class, we'll be discussing redox, um, that is reduction and uh, oxidation reaction. Uh, that is in short, it is redox. We're going to start with um, definitions of reduction and oxidation. I say definitions, uh, not just one definition or two. I think in terms of oxygen, hydrogen, or even electron transfer, oxidation can mean different things. Are you with me? So oxidation can be defined as one, the gain of oxygen. That is one aspect of oxidation, gain of oxygen, gain of oxygen, and then it can also be defined as loss of hydrogen and it can also be defined as loss of electron. Okay, now looking at those um, definitions, you look at this concept. This is carbon. Let's see how carbon can oxidize when it's gained or accepts oxygen. There is a set rule, okay, which means that every element, every species is assigned with its oxidation states. Okay? Now, carbon is in its elemental states, a state where it is not combined. Okay? Its oxidation states at this point, at this juncture, is set to be what? Zero. Okay? But not until it gains oxygen. Suppose you have something like this, with carbon bonds in the air. It combines with oxygen, and then here we have carbon for oxide. Why I refer to it as carbon for oxide is because there's another set rule that states that the sum of or the oxygen state of oxygen in its combined state is minus two. That is for one atom of oxygen. But in this combined state, there are two atoms of oxygen. So when you multiply it with this, you're going to have total of what? Minus four. There's another set through that states that the oxidation state of every atom of element in a molecule like this must be equal to zero. Now that oxygen is minus four, what then will be here? If you sum it with minus four, everything appears to be zero. What number will be there? That's plus four. Are you with me? So in this equation now, the state of oxidation of carbon has just changed from zero to plus four when it gains oxygen. There is on this aspect. Then on the second aspect where we have loss of hydrogen, suppose we have something like this, NH, NH3. Uh, this is ammonia molecule, isn't it? And then going forward, okay? We remove hydrogen from this nitrogen. Nitrogen standing as N2. So it's having lost hydrogen. And then here we have H2 as well. I mean, the, this has dissociated, okay, into this and this. There is another state through that state that the sum of oxidation state of hydrogen in its combined states, now in this case it's combined with nitrogen, it will always be what? plus one. Then how many atoms of hydrogen appears to be in this molecule? Three. So you're going to be multiplying now. You have what? Plus what? Three. So what then will be here if you add up? You have zero. Four. Minus what? Three. But coming over here, now that this element, this nitrogen is in its uncombined states, it's not combined, of course it also appears to be what? Zero. You now find out here that the state of oxidation of nitrogen has changed from minus 3 to what? 0. Okay. So there has been a clear case of, is it oxidation or reduction in this case? Oxygen. Oxidation. Because minus 3 to 0, it appears that there has been an increase in the oxidation number of what? Nitrogen. From minus 3 to what? 0. That is as regard loss of hydrogen. And in the last day we have loss of electron. Suppose we have something like this. This is sodium. 
atom in these states. Sodium is in at, at, at elemental states. Okay. Now, if you look at the atom of shell, the, uh, how many atom of shell electrons are there in an atom of sodium? How many valence electrons? It one. Let me use dots to represent that atom of shell electron. It also appears that the number of protons in this atom is what? I think 11. That's the atomic number of sodium is 11. That is the number of protons. Are you with me? And the number of electrons it should be the same with that of proton, provided that this particular species is at elemental state. The sum of proton will always be the same with that of electron. So here we have what? 11. Are you with me? Now, I think I have to say this. The reason why the oxygen state of an element, when it is free or when it's uncombined, is zero. The reason is because at this point, these two particles of this atom, one is basically positively charged. Which one is positively charged between proton and electron? It does appear that this, I can also say this is plus 11. And this is minus what? 11. So the effectively clear charge of sodium here is what? Zero. That is the reason why. Okay. But basically, this sodium can lose its electron, this valence electron. But unfortunately in chemistry, we don't, it, it, is not, it is not correct. It's very wrong, practically wrong. Okay, to have negative electron at the reactant. Rather, what we we'll do is to push this negative electron, minus electron, to this side. And once it goes to this side, it becomes what? Plus electron. I mean, so we're we'll going to shift it here now. So this is not going to be obtainable. So at, the, at this point, we're going to have that that electron will now come. When this particular electron is removed totally. So you won't, you won't see this dot here again. So that means that the number of protons still remains 11. Because it didn't remove proton. So electron here has not been shortchanged. How many electrons now? Having lost one? Ten. If you do your plus and minus here, what will be the total net charge of this particular species? Plus what? One. That is plus 11 minus 10. Plus one. So what goes here is what? Plus. Then that electron loss will now come here as what? Plus what? E what? Minus. Are you with me now? Now if you look at the states, the change in the state of oxygen states here and here, you find out that this is zero. But having lost electron, the oxygen state has not changed from what? Zero to what? Plus one. This is a clear case of oxidation. Are you with me? Okay, now looking at the other one. So what you see here um, um, as definition of oxidation would be that of uh, reduction, but in opposites. Like in oxidation, we say that oxidation is the gain of oxygen. Now, reduction now is the loss. Of what? Oxygen. Supposing we have something like this. What do you call this? It's copper, not copper oxide, but copper to what? Oxide. Why copper to oxide? So put the set, the set rule. What are the set rule? Combined state of oxygen is minus two. So if this is minus two, definitely this is what? Plus two. And then, assuming you add something that would be responsible for taking this away from this compound. Maybe something that is more electropositive to take this negative away from this compound, to break it off from this compound. I think you're going to have something like this. H, 2 what? O, plus what? Cu. Copper noun is at elemental state. Whose oxygen state here is what? Zero. It is zero because there has been a loss of what? Oxygen. So there is going to be a decrease in the state of what? Oxygen of copper here as regards as, as copper at the other end of the reaction. So this is also a clear case of what? Reduction, which is loss of oxygen. Then in that way, in that way, I want to say that, now in oxidation, we define oxidation as the loss of hydrogen. Reduction now is what? Gain of hydrogen. How is it gain? I'll still make reference to this reaction as well, but this time going back. Okay, now this nitrogen gains this hydrogen. Is there right here? Then going to this side of the reaction, it is what? Minus 3. So here it's changing from 0 to minus 3. This is a clear case of what? Reduction, which is the gain of hydrogen. And then finally, reduction is the what? Gain of electron. How is the gain of electron? Suppose I have an atom like chlorine. Okay, this is chlorine atom. And then this chlorine has how many atom electron? 7. Not, I didn't mean, I didn't mean 
uh, oxygen states. I mean, how many valence electrons? Total number of electrons is seven. So I'm going to use dots to represent that seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This chlorine atom is short one of to achieving octets states. So it's going to gain. Yeah, it's possible. It's very very correct to write plus electron and the reactants. But minus is not going to be here. You cross it over. Are you with me? So here it's going to be plus what? Electron. Recall that the total number of protons in this atom is what? 17. That is the atomic number. As it's 17, since it's not electrically charged, the number of protons ought to be equal to the number of electrons. Are you with me? So here it should be also what? 17. So do your plus and minus. What will be here? Zero. So this is zero now. Now it gains the electron. Okay. It does appear that proton still remains 17, but the electron, there will be a kind of increase in electron by one, isn't it? So total electron here is what? 18. So total here is minus one. So we write this chlorine as chloride ion. That is Cl what? Minus. So having gained this electron, the oxygen state has changed from what? Zero state to what? Minus one. This is a clear case of reduction. Are you with me now? So now, what I will now put clearly here, for me, I'll think that the definition that is more maybe recent, other one, gain of oxygen, gain of hydrogen, those ones are more like up, uh, obsolete. That's old, a cake definition. I think you always remember this. Put this in my way we are looking at redox. Remember, always remember this. Remember what we call oil, what? Rig, when you want to define it, which is going to be the last one, last definition. The one that has to do with transfer of electron, which say that oxidation, oxidation is loss of electron, and then reduction is what? Gain of electron. Please bear this one in mind. It's very important. I think you can only define oxidation as gain if you are, if it, or the examiner is specific, defined in terms of oxygen, defined in terms of hydrogen, but if they say define oxidation, the Beck's definition is that that has to do with what transfer of electron, which is the one that has to do with gain, that is loss of electron position, then gain of electron for what reduction. Are you with me? Okay, let's look at him. Um, okay, before we go to this, I think I, I have to put, put this in perspective so we we'll, we'll know this. Redox with this, one can define redox as a type of chemical reaction. When I say redox, I mean reduction of the addition. One can define redox as a type of chemical reaction in which oxidation and reduction occurring in the same reaction. Any reaction in which oxidation is going on at the same time reduction is what? Redox. Are you with me? Okay, I'll give a, um, I'll give you this example quickly. Supposing we have um, this reaction, we have H2 plus O2, we have H2O. How is it redox? This is what? Zero, zero, plus one, then minus what? Two. So there has been a change from hydrogen here being zero to here being plus one. So this is what? Oxidation. Also a change from zero here to minus two this is what? Reduction. Are you with me? Are you with me? Okay, now what type of chemical reaction, what type of redox is this? What type of redox is this? I think this type of redox is, is it addition, is it combination, is it decomposition, is it displacement? What type is this redox reaction? This is combination reaction. Because it's just, it does like, it's just like A plus B equals to what? AB. It's combination reaction. So what it means that all combination reactions are redox. Another name for combination reaction is addition reaction. All addition reactions are what? Redox. All synthesis reaction, because it does appear that water has been synthesized by combining these two. They are also what? Redox. What if you have something like this? Zinc plus HCl. You have zinc chloride plus H2. So how to know how to assign the states, position states to each species here? This is zero. These are elemental states. This is 
plus one. So this should be what? Minus one. This is minus one minus one times three minus two. Here is what? Plus two. Here is what? Zero. So check. You find out that zinc has changed. Zinc has oxidized. OX. And then this one is not changing. So this chlorine here. So examiner will ask you which one is expected to here? Which one is not is not changing? Is which one is expected to which one is that each one is having its solution state stay constant, not changing, is what? Chlorine. Or which one is a spectator ion in this reaction? Chlorine. So forget about the one that is not changing. Concentrate on the one, those species that are changing. This is plus one, but over here is what? Zero. Over here is zero. So this one is what? A reduction. So it's redox reaction. Now, what type of redox reaction is this? Displacement reaction. Because it does appear... Now this one is just like if somebody is having A plus B C, and here you are now having what? You are having what? A C plus what? B. Displacement reaction. So what it means that all displacement reactions are what? Redox. Are you with me? Okay. Now, now one more thing. Sometimes, example, you may be asked to write ionic equation of this reaction. As in, in this reaction, you notice that chlorine is not changing here. So get rid of chlorine. Write the equation ionically form of ion states. So zinc is zinc is changing, so it's going to be represented fully. Chlorine is not changing, so we have to let it go so that this can now stand in us. Now remember this equation must be balanced. Two should be here. Two here should be two H what plus. Chlorine is not staying here again. That's why it's, that's what this that's the reason why this is now in ionic form. So coming over here, this is going. So you have Zn2 plus plus what? H what two. Are you with me? So look at the last uh, illustration. Check if this reaction is redox. I have H plus plus OH minus. You have H2O. Check if it's redox reaction. Very fast. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. What is the state of hydrogen here? Plus one, minus two. Are you there? Minus two. H plus one. The sum of both of them, minus 1. H plus 1, O minus 2. So there is no change here. So this reaction is what? Not redox. What type of reaction is this? We know about neutralization. Neutralization reaction. This is acid. This is what? Base. Are you mean that? This is neutralization reaction. So neutralization reaction, or what we call double decomposition reactions, are not what? Redox.